All right, so here we are at the end of day one. I guess I could turn the lights on for you if I knew how to do that. <laughs> I closed the blinds because the sun was coming in. So right now I have a table right here. Um, this is something I did last year. I had a table right next to the door and it was super handy with interventions and we also switched for science. So it's nice to have a place that the kids know if there's something on the table, they come and pick it up. Um, and then there's storage underneath. Um, there's another table over here. I have way more student desks than I need. Um, I'm hoping my principal will let me uh, donate them to somewhere else. But these are really nice desks. They're double desks with nice storage in between. So this is going to be my morning meeting area. And the nice thing is, is this wall, you can staple things on it or use push pins. So it's like a giant bulletin board. And then I found out that all the whiteboards are magnetic. So that is awesome. So they can also double as display space um, and teaching space. This is my small group area. I still have to put my bench right here. Um, and I really like to do that because in fourth grade with morning meeting, um, some kids are not comfortable sitting on the floor. Um, sometimes when girls are wearing dresses and stuff, they don't like to sit on the floor. So there's floor space, there's chairs that kids can pull out. Um, and there'll be a bench right here. And this is will, will be my small group area. This is a kind of cool little <clears throat> gadgety thing. Um, this thing lifts up so you can use it for like presentations and stuff, but there's also all this storage underneath. So I think I'm probably gonna use that for my small group materials. Um, then my space is over here. I have my file cabinet. Um, an L desk, and I really like L desks as a teacher. Gives you kind of workspace and then space to spread out. I don't. What I don't like about this one is there's no storage. So I'm gonna measure this space and maybe stick some like Sterlite containers underneath there. We have another magnetic whiteboard. There will be a television screen here. Um, another magnetic whiteboard. This is our technology station, and this is all the fancy schmancy gizmos and stuff. This has locking storage. I'm um, not sure how much I'm going to use this. Um, you know, we'll see. Um, some people put their, their ladybug or their document camera up here, but it's an awful long way from where the TV is. Um, and if you move it, then you're covering up this display space. And because it's so tall and you're standing, these kids right here are not going to be able to see what's going on. So we'll have to see about that. Right now I have 12 desk setups. That's enough for 24 students, but right now I only have 18, which is like a, a huge gift, um, especially here in Utah, which has very large class sizes. <clears throat> what I'm most nervous about is my classroom library. Uh, I couldn't bring all of my bins in today because we had to park so far away from the school. Um, well, I probably can't see very well. So I'm just trying to lay them out and even using that cupboard right there. And I found this in my room. It's not mine, but hopefully no one will, will take it because <laughs> I really need the storage space. But even if I use all the shelves and all the tops, I'm kind of, you know, you can see right there, those big stacks, those are the bins that are the 60s. And I have bins up to 80 something. Um, and these boxes are full of my, books that have to be put in bins. So I'm not gonna put books in bins until I have a place for all the bins. So I'm really, really nervous that I'm gonna have enough room for my ginormous classroom library. And I know it's ginormous. Um, possibly I could put some shelves back there, but I don't know. We'll have to see, that makes me really nervous. Um, so right in here, uh, like I said, this is gonna be books, um, coat closet, um, so technology station in here. Um, I'm going to be taking a class and getting some free Chromebooks because of that. Um, right now I've, I'm setting up my bins. These are my um, uh, place value blocks and I put them into bins so that small groups of kids can work on them at the same time. This is going to be where my math storage is. Although one of the things we we're talking about is maybe having a team mass storage area, and I'll show you where that is in a second. So this is where I'm gonna be putting construction paper. I've already put some school supplies here. These are file folder drawers. 
pretty cool. <clears throat> Another more storage. This will probably be for science. Here we have a sink with a drinking fountain. We have my the emergency supply bag. And over here I'm going to store um, reading. So up there is stuff from our reading series that I'm required to hold on to but I don't really use. I have my teacher manuals there. Um, and what I use the most are the leveled readers. So they're down here in boxes by unit. So let me just show you the outside a little bit here. This little table is actually going to go outside my room. So right there is my teaching neighbor, fourth grade teacher. And there's another fourth grade teacher down the hall. And here are third grades. Um, you can see they've still got a lot to do. But down this little hallway right here is the faculty restroom. So cool. I'm right near the faculty restroom. Sweet. Score. Um, and this is our multi-purpose room. And this is a shared space uh, with the entire second floor, which is um, some third, as you saw, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Uh, and we haven't yet decided what we're going to use it for. There's talk, again, of storing math manipulatives in here, um, of sharing science material. There eventually on that wall will be um, a big television, flat screen television. It's got tons of storage, just like our classrooms do. So uh, really cool. And then down here we've got the student restroom and then down there my husband is texting I guess um, our, our music rooms so our piano lab is on the right and the two rooms you can see the doors those are two violin rooms so that's what a, the classroom looks like after the first day uh, they're gonna be paving the parking lot so hopefully we can get a little bit closer and bring more stuff in um, after a day or two. TTFN, ta-ta for now.